here with uh, Marcus Ellis, who's just come off court uh, against Asan and Setuan um, in the uh, first round of the All England. Um, it's always tough playing against them. Um, your games in the past have been uh, quite tight games, uh, very competitive. So um, uh, equally, the first game in this uh, match was tight. Uh, what were your thoughts after that first game in particular? Um, I think you know we didn't start the game particularly well, and I think that set the tone for the whole match. Um, it always felt like we were a little bit behind, not always in the score, but just there was a little something missing. Um, I think maybe our preparation could have been a little bit better. Um, obviously, we give them a lot of respect. You know, they're an amazing pair, and sometimes they can win games in 20 minutes, and you know, there's nothing you can do about it. They can also lose in 20 minutes, but that's just the sort of pair they are. And when they're on, when they're playing their best, you know, they're. It can be impossible to play, and their results in the past have absolutely shown that. You know, the world champions, like they've won here like a few years ago. You know, their results speak for themselves. Um, I think we could have done better, but you have to give some credit to them because they're a fantastic pair and they make you play like that. Uh, they started the uh, the second game quite well. Was it was it quite difficult to get your rhythm again um, going into that second game and trying to um, uh, make a decider? Yeah, I think any with any pair, if if there's any deficit. All of a sudden, you know, they, they start to get a bit of confidence and they start playing a bit more skill and flair. And you know, right at the end there, they were playing some unbelievable shots, and it was like a you know, it was like a show for everyone. Um, so that you know, not just them, but they've lots of the top level pairs. If you stay with them the whole way, it's 15 or 16 or, you know, you have a chance. But if you if you give them a five or six point deficit, you know, you there's very you can still come back, but there's very little chance of you winning that particular set. Um, and I think today we, we fell into that bracket and I've, of course I think we can do things better but I just think today they just you know, schooled us in certain areas which we definitely need to improve on. Uh, lastly, of course, you're uh, still in the mix. You've got that to uh, look forward to. Um, after the, uh, the All England, uh, what are your targets and the main um, uh, focus uh, in the season? Uh, well, we have a lot of tournaments coming up uh, even before Olympic qualification starts in uh, the 1st of May. Obviously now all we're doing is looking, for, looking forward to the qualification period. Um, everything we do and think about, talk about is you know, for the Olympics. And that's, you know, that's gonna be our thought process now for the next 18 months. Um, yeah, we, like I said, we've got, we've got Swiss Open, we play Orleans, we play Malaysia Open. And then you know, Olympic qualification starts for us. So it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a very busy schedule. Um, you know, doubles still is my main focus, um, just because you know we have so many mixed pairs. Um, just in terms of the team, we want to qualify men's doubles pair, so it will remain my focus. Um, I just really, we do both me and Lauren love playing mixed, um, and I think it helps my men's game. And you know, I think Lauren would also say that it helps her women's game by playing mixed. Um, so we will continue playing uh, two events. I assume my body don't fall apart or something. You know, to, I'll play two events. So. Yeah, I am excited for it for the Olympic qualifying start, and you know, it's going to be it's going to be a crazy few months. But yeah, bring it on, I guess. I'm sure it is. Thank you very much, and best of luck with that, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.